Bruh. I am beyond dumbfounded. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Red River Aviation. Hope you guys are on a fantastic day today. And today, at last, finally, we have the Gym Night Yes October 2020 tier list rankings for you guys. Yes, we are finally here, guys. You may want to grab your popcorn or something because this may be a little longer than normal because we got a lot to go over today. So hope you guys are excited. Man, finally. So we are here. The Gym Night Yes October 2020 releases pictures are finally out. These got announced about six or seven weeks ago. They got announced, I believe, the first Tuesday of October. It's been a long time. We've been sitting here. Uh, they announced on their social media profiles about two or three weeks ago that they got delayed due to a all-time high on shipping volume. So that means it's really hard for them to get uh, them shipped. But they are finally here with the pictures. Um, a lot later than normal, uh, about a month late. Uh, you, normally they have in that third week. They also said this would affect the November and December set of releases, which I'm assuming by how they worded that, that means it will be combined. So expect a November, December combined release probably announced on that first Tuesday of December uh, saying that now we have the pictures out with about 10 days left. That's enough time for them to get their rotation of pictures. So I would expect it around then, maybe the 24th, but I doubt it. Uh, so, or yeah, not 24th, I'm sorry, probably December 1st, that's probably our day. Really, really excited to get into this one, guys. We got a lot of good stuff, a lot of crazy stuff as you saw by that intro. Um, I, I'm kind of shocked by what we got going today. So, um, I'll talk about each and every plane as we go through, but just a little broad general thing real quick about these releases. They were interesting. There was a lot of planes that people, it was another really diverse set as we talked about in the September releases, which feels like forever ago now, and it kind of was. But as we talked about in that set, it was a lot of diversity, but it wasn't something particularly great for most of us US collectors, but I know there's a ton of other people that are here. So just in general. This is another very diverse set, lots of wide bodies, which I'm not surprised why Gemini loves to make their money. So got a lot to go into today, so we better jump into it. So let's begin. So here is our tier list maker. Let's begin with our first aircraft. And yes, we are starting with it. The American Airlines Boeing 787-9, another American wide body. Um, obviously I love the Americans, but um, I know what you guys are gonna, uh, I know you guys know what I'm gonna say. Uh, I'm kinda at a loss for words. But they changed the color back to the right one. I cannot believe it. I literally am at a loss for words. It, it amazes me that they did it right for so long. Then this year they've struggled so hard. And then now we are back to the right color. As you can tell, we have the American 787-9. Uh, this is, I think, the fourth wide body they've released this year. And the color is so much better, man. The color is back to right. That is what it's supposed to look like. Um, it looks a lot, oh yeah, one thing about these pictures, uh, due to the time change, I'm assuming, I, it looks like these these are much later in the afternoon, around three or four o'clock, probably in that Las Vegas time zone. So yeah, um, I am at a loss for words with how nice this thing looks. This thing is simply amazing. They did such a nice job on finally getting the color back. I'm glad they finally listened and figured out, hey, this is the wrong color. We better put the right one back. It makes up for it dramatically, man. I am so happy, but let's get into the actual model. The American 787-9. This is the second time they did it. They did one in 2016 or 17. Forgot the year, I think it was 17. Really, really exciting stuff, man. There's nothing more to say. The color is right. That's the big takeaway from this is they finally got the color right. I'm at a loss for words. Just really, really exciting that they got the color back to correct, man. That is amazing. Uh, let's take a look at the real life counterpart here real quick. Uh, just to take a little glance at it. As you can tell, yes, the color is so much better as you can see right there. The tell, yes, we do have that interesting like um, color combination, like that really vibrant type attack like we had with the 787-8 uh, and 767 kind of. But, um, you know, I guess it's okay. They got the color back. Uh, this shot's at a similar time. Man, so, so good. Uh, everything else obviously is very simple playing this November 825 Alpha. Alpha. Get, love the Wi-Fi box, they killed it, man. But just really, really exciting stuff about the color, man. There's nothing more to it. I'm sure you guys can already guess there's no discussion that is perfect. Thank you, Jim Knight, for finally going back to a good color. So, so amazing, man. There's nothing more to say. I am dumbfounded that they finally decided to change it back. It's pretty laughable, but I'm not complaining. 
I did buy two of those uh, because why not? Um, there's no reason not to. Obviously, the triple two is going to get retired in the future, so having four of those total will be nice uh, for the collection. I wanted to get I want to get a third seven eight seven eight from the 2015 set just to have that. That would be nice for the collection, but. Really, really exciting stuff, man. It looks so good. Really excited to get two of them. And there's a lot of other models that I think you guys are gonna be surprised by what I got. Speaking of which, we have the British Airways Airbus A350-1000. This is also the second time Gemini Jets has done this model. They did this one in 2018. Month sl slipping my mind right now. Um, this is very simple. Obviously, your Euro wipe. Um, but the key takeaway from this is they got the winglet. They got the Captain Dark on the winglet, which is huge. Uh, the last one did not have it. I actually sold my last one and will be buying this. I'm really, really excited and it looks awesome. Obviously your nose isn't the best shape in the world, but besides that, I uh, love the Captain Dark on the uh, winglet and you got the Wi-Fi box. The colors look really nice. Great job, GJ. Nothing more really to say. Here's the real life counterpart. This one's a little far out, but that's fine. Gets the illusion that they did an awesome job on it. Really, really excited. That's a perfect. Uh, glad they got the winglet. That looks awesome. Thank you so much, GJ. Killing it right now. Great start. Two for two. Next up, we have the LL Boeing 787-9. Jerusalem of Gold is what it is. This is a really cool plane. NG also did this one quite a ways back, I think. I think this one was back in 2019 at some point. Maybe wrong, but it was a while ago. Here's the model. Now, uh, there's some key takeaways from this. Um, this is not to be critical. I want to make that clear. My intention here is not to be critical or, you know, not to be rude or whatever. This is simply to state what I think of it. But um, don't get me wrong, this model isn't horrible, but there's a couple key things that I've noticed about it. Here is the actual real life aircraft. There was numerous angles and numerous color variations that I saw. But overall, what I noticed was that this blue is much darker than what they have on the actual model. As you can tell, that's pretty gosh dang light for what it probably should look like. All credit goes to the photographers, by the way. I'll scroll down if I remember to, to get all their watermarks, so I apologize. But here it is. Um, yeah, that's the big takeaway is the blue. I really feel like the blue is a little light. Obviously, it's almost on the better side of really dark navy in these shots. And then on top of that, the gold was a really hard to tell what kind of variation, but I think I came down to the conclusion that it may be slightly dark, but it's really hard to tell, especially this line right here. That line is really what threw me for a loop. I think this line's slightly dark, but the blue is a much bigger deal in my opinion, but there's tons of variations and stuff. It's a really hard uh, color to get and to tell as well, that's really tough to do with the fade and everything, but they did it right on the United and numerous others, but obviously the blue kind of tanks it so just really tough on the colors there and maybe it comes out differently in different lighting that is definitely a possibility as well i'm going to give this one a good i don't think it's bad by any means but i do think that they probably could have got the color a little closer at least the blue the blue probably could have been a little darker i'm not displeased by the gold it's not bad um that's a, still a pretty good model there not bad gj uh retail price for that one like all these uh, next up, we're on to the Hawaiian Airbus E33200. This is the second time as well they've done this one. They did one in this livery back in uh, 20, maybe it was last year, but it was a while ago. Now they've done another one. Obviously, injury models did theirs, so I will not be buying this one. Uh, main thing that I noticed is like my A321neo review that we did back in the summer, the lay is a very, very uh, deep color of silver which um, is not necessarily the uh, correct color, I guess you could say. Here's what it actually looks like. It's not near that rich. I do like it rich, but that's not the, um, that's not correct. Tell's really good on this one. I thought they did a nice job on the tail. Uh, obviously you have your wing flex and your wobbly engines on the E330 mold, but honestly, at this point, we can't really criticize the molds. They've been around for so long at this point, it is what it is. The actual livery looks nice. I do prefer it looking like that, but this is how it actually looks in all lighting situations for the most part. I'm gonna be nice. I do not, I still think it's really good. Um, I'm not gonna crit get them for that, even though I probably should. I will give them a perfect. That is a really nice job on the Hawaiian A330 200. Probably should have, but you know, Friday and all that stuff, you gotta give them some credit. And they did a nice job. There's no doubt they did a nice job. So good job here for Hawaiian. Okay, we are on to another model that I'm really excited about. I'm sure this is gonna interest a lot of you guys, but this is the Lutanda Airlines Airbus A340 300 in the new livery. This is really, really exciting. If you guys are wondering why I'm so excited about it, it's actually gonna be coming to Dallas in December. So yes, I am getting it. I'm really excited. I think it's more of a temporary deal than anything, but it's the A340. I don't have an A340 in my collection. I cannot pass up this opportunity to get an A340 for my collection. So I will be getting this one as well. I am super, super excited. So here it is, the Lutanza A340 300 by Gemini Jets. 
Really, really exciting stuff in the new livery, obviously. I think somebody did an old one, but excuse me, but it's pretty hard to find. Really, really exciting stuff. Here it is. Let's take a little inside look at this one. Why not? Very simplistic, obviously, Euro white. Uh, they got the brown Wi-Fi box, which is super nice. And then you got the tail, which that uh, really dark navy is looking correct. Obviously, you're going to have slight wing flex on the A340 mold as well, but I'm just really excited to get my first A340. They did a really nice job on this one. Let's take a look at the real life counterpart. Here it is at the watermark. There you go, Kevin. Nice shot. Uh, looks really, really cool. Actually, this one does have a little wing flex, but I think it's because it's landing. This is Delta Alpha India Foxtrot Delta. Looks really, really good. Can't read what it says right there, but I'm excited to get my first A340 for the collection. Gemini Jets did an awesome job on it. It will get a perfect as well. Good job, Gemini. Very proud of that effort right there. Really nicely done. Next up, we are on to a very interesting model. This is the Qantas Link Q200. So for you uh, Australian guys, I'm glad we finally got you a model. Uh, it's been a while. So really, really excited. Uh, this one, I'm not sure if they still fly these in real life, but it's pretty cool. This is Victor Hotel uh, Tango Quebec X-Ray. Sorry, that was really hard to roll off. Really cool. They got some nice details here with this logo and the Qantas link under there. One picture, I did see a picture online um, that had a weird gear, gear tilt, which I'm assuming is QC, but very tiny model. Hopefully all of them for the most part are all right. You also got the kangaroo emblem. One thing I've noticed on all of these for the most part, besides the LL, is all the colors seem really like vibrant, honestly. It seems like NG vibes. Let me pull it up the Qantas link. Obviously this is a golden hour shop, but this one kind of is too. Look at how uh, good of a red they got going there, which I think it's really, really good. Uh, they did an awesome job on this little guy. Uh, the gray's looking good there, the slight gray. This is in the newest Qantas livery, of course. So really, really cool model. Nice job, Gemini. Hopefully you Australian collectors have fun with that model. That's really cool. So I'll give that one a perfect as well, much deserved. Now we are on to the United Airlines Boeing 77-10. As we uh, know, NG models also did this one, the exact registration in fact, November 1, 2, uh, 1, 10, I think, something like that. We'll take a look in a second. Uh, here it is. So very simplistic Euro white, like all planes nowadays. Um, obviously, this mold's really good when it comes to assembled. Um, you got the United Billboard titles here. Blue shade's looking pretty good, maybe slightly light, but it's not really a big deal. Uh, Star Alliance logo, connecting globe. Uh, NG to this one as well, like I said. But this one's still really good, I feel like. Um, back here in the tail, this is the only thing that I have to mention is this. Uh, the globe seems a little light on the light side. Where are you? Uh, one, two, zero, one zero as you can tell it seems maybe slightly pale type deal not quite as uh rich as you would like it to be besides that i think they did a really good job on it the engine blue is good uh maybe a little light on the billboard titles but i think they got a um the concept here this is really really good nice job gj and like for the hawaiian um i think i think it deserves a perfect that's a really good effort on gemini's side that's really good uh, no doubt about it. Next up, we're on to a really cool model. This one I know is going to be really popular because it's an interactive series. This is the UPS Boeing 7478 Freighter. This is a really cool model. Um, I'm going to get my first interactive when the Cargo Lux uh, Not Without Your Mask delivery comes out. Uh, that's going to be really beneficial for Dallas, so I will wait till then. This one doesn't come to Dallas enough to need it for any of the airports. And on top of that, it is cool, but it's like, uh, I think $60. So that's a lot for an aircraft. Here it is. Uh, looks really, really nice. Uh, did it, again, this is what I'm talking about. This uh, The yellow here for UPS looks to come out really, really sharp compared to uh, many pictures that you can find online. Uh, really, really nice. It looks really good with the World Life Services logo and then the interactive. You got the UPS logo under the uh, nose. Really, really nice. That's awesome, man. I'm really excited for you guys that are getting that one. Awesome job. Another perfect. GJ is out here slaughtering October, despite the fact that it took seven weeks, but there's no problem with that. The models are really good. And finally, our last model. This is the Velars Airbus A321 Neo. Really, really excited about this one. I will be getting one, obviously, with my up and coming Cabo Airport project that I'm not sure when I'm going to get to do it, but I'm trying, I'm in the arrangement to get the wood right now. So hopefully by Q1 next year sometime, that will be up and running. But obviously, got to get one. Uh, about one for the AC, which I'm glad I didn't pay up for that because this one's going to be much better, despite the fact that obviously you have the thick fuselage, the nose, and the engines. Uh, also, another picture um, that I saw online, uh, very interesting um, QC tilt. Um, not sure how that's going to go, but um, hopefully that was just one of the bad ones. Uh, here it is. It looks really, really nice. The billboard titles. This is, I guess, another Euro white fully. Uh, this pink shade, um, I love it on the engines. I really want to see this on the E320 Neo. Hopefully they'll do it. That would be amazing. Um, no complaining. I think it looks really, really good. 
Uh, it may be slightly light though. Here's a picture of it, as you can tell. In most lighting conditions I looked around, I could not find a picture of where it was super, super light. <laughs> or yeah, like this, sorry. However, I think they still did a really nice job. The blue and green on the tail and then the purple mix looks really, really nice. Also on the tail, I can kind of notice where it's maybe a little light. It looks more of a pink than, I think it's, I think it may be, yeah, I think it's supposed to be purple more than pink, but I, I mean, it doesn't, I mean, I have to say, I'm very impressed with these efforts. I'd rather have it like this than the dim gray American 788 or, you know, the A320 or any of those guys. I'm much more impressed with this. Yeah, you could definitely say that this is good just because of that, but I will give it perfect. This is a simple miss. Um, I've tried to be real lenient. Um, so definitely um, very proud of these efforts here. Uh, not bad at all whatsoever. So there it is, guys. This is another tier list video for the uh, Gemini Jets. Okay, hopefully I recorded that. My phone did the percentage still. But that is another tier list video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Very proud of Gemini Jets. This was an excellent release. Fantastic job, Gemini. This is awesome. Once again, getting two, not one, two American 787-9s. Color is the only reason, but really excited about that. The British Airways A350-1000, obviously going to come to Dallas as of right now, so why not stock up on that? Sold the old one. The Hawaiian Airbus A330, or sorry, not the Hawaiian, the Lutonza A340-300, first A340, really excited. And the Velars Airbus A321-NEO. So quite a diverse month. I'm really going diverse this month, getting uh, three wide bodies, actually four with the duplicates. So that's going to be that don't normally do that. I'm really excited. So that's going to be awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching and supporting the channel and everything. I really appreciate it. Um, really excited. Please let me know in the comment section which ones you guys are getting and everything like that. Um, Thanksgiving's coming up. We got a lot of fun videos. So happy early Thanksgiving. Enjoy your holiday season, guys. And uh, stay safe. Try not to get the virus and everything like that. Uh, thank you guys so much for supporting all my videos. I really appreciate it. You can go follow me on Instagram if you'd like. And you also, also go join the Discord server, which we're almost to 350 members now. Lots of fun in there. I really enjoy it with you guys. I love talking to you guys on a regular basis. So that will do it for another tier list video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please let me know, like I said, which one you guys are going to uh, gonna be really awesome. Very proud of Gemini. It's very mind-boggling. As you can tell, I'm kind of at a loss for words and breath with how good this was. Great job, Gemini. Keep it up. Really excited for next month. Don't have the same um, August good, September, eh, October good. Or sorry, September, eh, October good, November, or December combined. Really excited. So keep you guys informed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, guys. Trust the process. Do what you love and love what you do. My name is Red Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon as Red Aviation is signing off.